Good morning, Shade, as well. The markets, global markets, end of the third week of May. With a bit of a backdrop of, of rising market concern with this ongoing uh, debt ceiling impasse in the US, as, as well as ongoing risks to the US banking system, uh, both of which are, are dampening risk sentiment somewhat and seeing markets pretty range bound uh, while they await a solid catalyst to, to really get moving there. Um, RBA minutes this week, I, I think the biggest uh, risk events are would be the RBA minutes. Now, they'll be largely focusing on uh, the reasoning behind the surprise rate hike uh, in their May meeting, which blindsided the markets. Um, the board did notice that inflation had passed its peak, but they were deadly serious about getting it down to target range, which is the, the, reason, the reasoning they gave for that rate hike. Um, so I expect the minutes to pretty much broadly mimic that and, and probably be uh, supportive for the Aussie dollar. US labor, uh, sorry, UK labor market report also on Tuesday, um, expectations uh, for the unemployment rate to hold steady at 3.8%, uh, employment change to fall to 50,000 from a higher reading last month. Um, headline earnings growth to slow down as well, which this was uh, cited as the big reason. The last, the previous report showed a bit of an uptick in, in wage growth. Uh, which was the reasoning that was uh, thought that the UK, the Bank of England did hike rates again, 25 basis points. So um, this one will be important too, to see what they're doing at the next meeting in June, 62% chance of a hike according to markets. So repricing of that should see a bit of volatility in the, in the pound if it comes outside uh, expected range there. Uh, US retail sales also on Tuesday. Um, with the Fed now data dependent, uh, we see the, the markets are pricing in about a 14% chance of a hike in June. Um, every every uh, piece of news that comes out sh showing the strength or lack thereof uh, in the US economy will ha does have that ability to move the needle uh, with repricing of the Fed's future actions. So could see some volatility in the US dollar and, and US equity markets then. Um, Australian job reports out on Thursday, expected to show a addition of 25,000 jobs in April, which is a, a downtick from last uh, from, from March. Unemployment rate staying steady. Um, the most recent RBA meeting where we did see that surprise hike, the, 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 they did comment quite a bit on the labour market that it remained tight, unemployment near 50 year lows. Um, the RBA is looking, the markets are pricing in a hold uh, for the next RBA meeting, the very, very small chance of a hike. But I mean, if this figure comes well outside, if it's a big beat, the, the RBA could surprise us again. And I think that uh, market participants will be a little bit more cautious in predicting the RBA after the last meeting. So could see some, uh, some Aussie dollar positive moves if that's a big beat on that figure.